أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Easiest way to understand what's happening now is there's a tremendous flow of negative energy. As soon as the negative energies come and they come too much and too close, insan becomes diseased. But Allah in this creation of perfection that when this energy comes we are an energy being. When we are producing a tremendous amount of light and blessings, وَلَكَرْ كَرَمْنَا بَنِي adam That we have a light and a gift that can't be understood. There's a gift within insan of light and powers and energies that Allah has given to them. And when a negative energy comes towards insan, it can make insan to be diseased and sickened and very subtle, very easy because the shield of men is weak. When an energy flows towards them it just begins to touch the surface of their being and their cellular level can be changed. Whether the men of science want to call it a radio signal, a radar signal or Wi-Fi signal, these are energies. And the effect of these energies on our energy being can be devastating. If you have any spiritual understanding you know that all this electricity and energy is from the world of jinn. They are the smokeless fire that Allah described. You are using a smokeless fire that was called electricity. Remember that this energy curve from the time of the beginning to the horse and buggy was a straight line. Anybody with science go back and look at it. How much we invented on this earth and how much we changed from the cowboys to the horse and the buggy, flat line. As soon as the jinn were allowed to enter into the earth and begin to enslave mankind again to be worshipped and to be taken as lords. How many diseases came onto this earth? What happened when they introduced radio signals worldwide? What happened when they introduced radar signals worldwide? What happened when they introduced all of their internet and 5G signals? It's an energy attack against insan for the enslavement of insan. But those of belief they should have understood, no the Dajjal is coming. This electricity that moves onto the earth is them. So means they, they want to enslave mankind and force their energy upon mankind and we talked about it in understanding computers and understanding technologies and understanding these realities. That we are a battery source, a power source that is a Divine gift and when they look to us they look at us as a battery. That we will do favours for you so that you worship us knowing or unknowing that everything will be facilitated through the jinn world. This electricity that moves onto the earth is them. They move through the signals, the wire transmissions, they move through cable everywhere. 
as they want to come more into this world and enslave mankind for their Imam. Then they need higher and higher movement. It was not good enough at 92 baht. Then they had dial up at 23k, then they had this and this and this till now there's a 5G signal being sent out. What's the force and what's the effect at the cellular level of people and does the energy hit people and make all their toxins and all their sicknesses come out? What the believers should understand is that they're fighting with energy. So what is occurring on earth is an energy battle. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. important power is the power of sound and we don't understand it, we lost its understanding. We are only focusing on the world of form and disease from the world of form and the standpoint of form and the medical curing based on a form. And then they come and teach, well no, 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 that form is, is a result of what? It's a result of a sound. The sound that you emanate gives you the form. If somebody manipulates the sound, they can begin to affect you at a cellular level. So means then the people of Tariqah and people of Marifa, they have to understand. It's the sound in which you resonate in life. قُلْ جَعَ الْحَقِّ وَزَهَكَ الْبَاطِ This ayat al kareem is everything about this energy study. The truth obliterates the false, not the false obliterate the truth. What are we on the truth? Did we build our light to the way that Allah wanted it to be built? In, built. This is our goal in life was to make the haqq of our light to be powered and the best power, most powerful power is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad.
focus is to bring the light of Sayyidina Muhammad on your soul. The durood al-sharif, the salawats, the love, the actions of the Muhammadan way. You support it, you pray from it and its lights, you meditate upon it, you make your salawats with it, then you should know the Prophet described, you'll be with whom you love. These are Ahbab al Nabi. As soon as this haqq begin to enter into their hearts, enter into their souls, enter into their energies, they're frightening for devils. Their light is a light of truth and the devil doesn't like to look into that light, he'd rather go somewhere else. So instead of spending your time trying to buy toilet paper, spending your time posting all sorts of corona this, corona that, corona this, what we should be fearing is did we make that relationship, did we breathe, did we contemplate, did we build our energy that are not just a, a little battery that's going to die with any type of frequency that hits me or is my entire being generating and madad? And when I make the madad, do I light up, do I feel heated, do I feel energized? Am I pulling from this reality and bringing within me? It's not what you know but it's the company of who you keep. It's not the knowledge of all these uh, death and corona, how it spreads and putting this and putting that, putting this. But are we understanding the madad? That when we're loving and when we're praising and when we're making zikr and we're asking for madad, there's an energy that comes like no other energy. And tapping into that energy when you learn how to meditate and learn how to breathe, continuously making your madad, continuously in this ocean of power that as soon as you connect you feel yourself heated up. As soon as the zikrs begin their presence is there. But not talking about their physical, their spiritual presence with lights and energies that are coming. And say that your madad to be upon me, your soul to be all encompassing around me and all whom you love and they love you, they accompany that light and now they accompany me. With these noble souls of Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah. When you're making madad, when we're doing the zikr and the associations, what type of lights they're dressing our soul? That they come into our being, they come into our light, they come into our home. Our homes become maqams of their love, they become caves of their love because we're there, we eat there, we sleep there. All their light is there, all their light is around us. Don't think this nation of Sayyidina Muhammad has been left alone to just perish and be possessed. When these energies are going out and the khalwa is ordered, what's happening to someone? Did they give themselves to truth or did they give themselves to falsehood? You don't know where people are on the spectrum of good and bad. Allah said, we're going to make it very clear, everybody go to your room. And in your room, who did you want to accompany in your life? Those that were of a very negative frequency all their life, negative, negative, negative. They should be seeing in their isolation every type of negativity and they're about to come out and they're not coming out happy. Those who went into their isolation and they fell more in love that they realized everything that was taught 
is 100% true. Every type of difficulty, that's why they were prepared. Every type of difficulty, that's why they supported. Now their faith increased. And every zikr they're feeling all the presence of these beings that are coming with madad, coming with support. And they say, you're almost about to see us and our zuhur to come through. Now what was grey clearly will become black and white. Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him was granted the highest of stations by God Almighty and nowhere is it clearer than in the heart of the Holy Quran Surah Yasin. It is through Prophet Muhammad's light that all of creation came into existence. This brilliant composition decodes the realities of words, revealing the true secrets held within individual Arabic letters and masterfully explained by author Sheikh Nurjan Marahmudi. This is further illuminated by over 400 full-color images, including unique hand-drawn artwork and beautiful graphics. Get your copy today, available on Amazon worldwide. Those who did their khalwa for shaitan, they come out as a shaitan. Those whom did their khalwa for Rahman, that they're isolating and they, they understood what Rahman wants. The people of Rahman, they have an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad They were taught to be weak and weak. I'm weak and they should be very happy with the dress that Allah dressing them, blessing them means then the grey will go and black and white will be clear. The ones in the middle who don't know they were there or here, they are the ones in most difficulty now. Those whom look for signs, do they see the signs? Why Allah released all this marketing for people? Allah loves His creation. It's not, oh I only prefer the Muslims, I'm only going to teach them. I'm going to teach all my creation. So it means in your understanding the people who went into Khalwar, what was the condition? Those who went for the, the benefit of Allah to be dressed and blessed, they know Allah is going to take care of them, give them a little bit of food, some supplies, we're good. Allah will multiply the rest with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. So we understand now that this energy is coming and this battle of energy has begun. Those whom are wicked are about to come out very bad. Those who are good and they have love. They should come out very blessed and the rest in the middle are suffering and they give themselves towards negativity and every bad desire. So this is a, a battle of building energy, this is an understanding that how can I take my low frequency and go over the top to the high frequency. You can't do it by yourself because you're nobody to do that. That's why La ilaha anta subhanika inni kuntum min al-dhalimeen. That was the first door of this way. I admitted to myself, I'm weak and abdukul ajeezu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal ya Rabbi. I am your weakest one, let their mother to dress me. So this was a way of humility that if I admitted to myself my nothingness, God's support would be upon me and I'm entirely relying upon this support. 
God, don't let me down. Why will you let us down if we, that's really what we want? Then we understood then the madad, the zikrs, the love for these holy souls, they push us over the top. Islam came to perfect the faith and Islam came to enlighten the world. This disease you're looking at, its cause in nature is energy and there are energy beings that God created. If they merely touch and hold your leg, they can shut down the entire vascular system of a body. They enter into the body, they go after the heart. They enter in a body, they go after the lungs. They enter into a body and go after the liver and the kidneys. All of these are a function of their energy moving towards the body. So when we understood we're weak Ya Rabbi, do your madad. Allah created us weak and we accepted the trust. And Allah said, Ya are of an ignorant nature, how could you accept the trust when you're the weakest of the creation? We took away in a life of continuously being in madad, continuously being in wudu, continuously asking that protect me and shield me with these lights of what Allah has dressed upon you and that you fight my battle for I'm a weak servant of Allah Those whom pass, they have an immense power, immense power that Allah whatever Allah gave to you, guard me. What Allah gave to you, bless me for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad because I'm Ahbab al Nabi That don't disappoint Prophet that I asked and you didn't help me. So they teach a whole system on how to connect. And Allah running a test now, all of this that coming onto this earth, this is an energy battle. It's only najat is to build your energy, build your connection, hold tight and don't separate. So then it's motivating, every night meeting ta tafakkur and contemplation and seeing ourselves at the threshold and the holy feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Madad Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem Ya Habibul I'm weak servant, bad servant, sinful servant but I love you. Dress me from your muhabbah, dress me from your love. Inspire my heart what is dearest to you so that I can show my love. If you truly believe this and you're putting your head at the sandal of Prophet it's very clear for you what to do. You're asking for his support and what does he want? Then show him the love that your whole life for that love, that everything He gave to you for that love, the time that you have for that love, everything to show the magnificent, munificent status of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And then you have the nazar of Prophet and you should feel good. And even if you are weakened and destined to die, it, no, nothing could be better, you are shaheed and be raised at the table of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding on how to build the energy. Don't be focused on the material understanding, the paranoias and fears and, 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 and uh, sickness. Allah bless you, bless us, forgive us for anything we've done wrong and prepare for us this holy night with lights and blessings. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Fatiha.
Oh, my God. 